Hello and welcome to the agenda. Next week, Brussels will play host to a mini plenary. Let's take a look at the highlights along with the rest of the hot topics for the week ahead. Kicking things off is something that we featured in last week's agenda, GMOs. The vote to allow member states to restrict or prohibit their use will now go ahead at a meeting of the Environment Committee on Tuesday. Collecting passenger information became ever more important after 9-11 to thwart global acts of terrorism. But legislation that sought to get a European passenger name record or PNR system up and running was thrown out in April 2013 because it put anybody and everybody under the spotlight. But now PNR is back on the table and the reason to stop fighters of the so-called Islamic State entering the EU and committing acts of terrorism. Follow the Civil Liberties Committee meeting on Tuesday. Politics sometimes overshadows the fact that the EU is the world's largest aid donor. From fighting Ebola in Africa to funding rural development programs in Bhutan and Afghanistan. The EU has projects all over the world and with one purpose, to eradicate poverty. The Development Committee will discuss how to highlight the European Year for Development on Tuesday. The images are etched in everyone's memory. The fall of the Berlin Wall was a peaceful revolution that united East and West. Pieces of the wall have been scattered all over the globe, like this one outside the Parliament. As the mini plenary makes its return to the Brussels Chamber, one of the top priorities will be the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Find out more details on Wednesday. Franklin D. Roosevelt was the first to call for the respect of basic freedoms that then formed the backdrop for the EU's own founding principles. The four freedoms, goods, workers, capital and services, will be debated by MEPs on Wednesday. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.